The third law of exponents is used in exponents and radicals. There is a rule in exponents and radicals that we are not allowed to have a negative exponent in the answer to a question. So how do we simplify this expression, a to the negative 2? The third law of exponents says a to the negative 2 equals 1 over a squared. We can move our term from the numerator into the denominator so long as we change the sign of the exponent from negative to positive. Let's prove this. What if we make a equal to 3? 3 to the negative 2 must be equal to 1 over 3 squared by the third law of exponents. Let's use our calculator to find out what 3 to the negative 2 is equal to. To find 3 to the negative 2 in our calculator, we punch in a 3, we hit the x to the y key, and then we punch in a negative 2 and hit equals. We get this decimal, 0 0.11111, repeating. This is the decimal version of 1 ninth. Let's prove that. 1 divided by 9 equals 0 0.11, repeating. So our calculator says 3 to the negative 2 is equal to 1 ninth. But 1 over 3 squared is also equal to 1 ninth. This proves that the third law is true. a to the negative 2 must be equal to 1 over a squared. Let's look at some more examples. In the first example, 1 over b to the negative 2 is equal to b squared by the third law of exponents. This means that even if the term with the negative exponent is in the denominator, we can still do this trick. We have to move it up into the numerator. Since there's nothing left in the denominator, b squared is over 1 and can be written just as b squared. In the next example, we have a term with a negative exponent in the numerator and another in the denominator, c to the negative 2 over d to the negative 3. In this case, the c to the negative 2 goes down into the denominator and the negative 2 becomes a positive 2, while at the same time the d to the negative 3 moves up into the numerator and becomes d to the positive 3. We can apply the third law of exponents twice in the same expression. In the last example, we have a more complex expression, and the difference here is that some of the terms do not have a negative exponent. The 2, the a squared, and the d do not have negative exponents, so they do not move. They stay in the same places in the answer. But the b to the negative 2 moves down to the bottom and becomes b squared, and the c to the negative 3 moves up into the numerator and becomes c cubed. This is how you use the third law of exponents.